Hey everybody, welcome to Real United States, and I'm doing something a little bit different here. I'm going to work in the studio today, and you know we're going to try and do that periodically. We uh, spend a lot of time in the field, and I'm going to try and intersperse some studio between that. I'm much more comfortable in the field than I am in the studio because I'm not I'm not a, I'm not used to working in the studio, and so that makes this a little weird having this microphone pushed up in my face and stuff. Most people, on the other hand, are much more comfortable working in their bedroom or their studio or wherever they happen to work, rather than being out in the field where people are staring at you and people will stare at you. Going, but that's a good thing because I always figure because people, hey, well, what are you doing? And I get to have my hand in my business card and give them my elevator speech and hopefully we pick up another viewer. So, yeah, I'm, but it's just what I'm accustomed to. But... Uh, we want to generate some more material, so we've uh, gone to the effort to buy a boom stand and try to set this up so we can do a little more in the studio in between our regular episodes. Uh, for those of you who have been very, very loyal to us and watch you know, like everything we put out, I, I, we certainly appreciate that. Don't panic. We're going to continue to do that. I'm not changing the entire format. I'm trying to augment it. So anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about what happened today. Um, well, actually, this happened a little while ago. Is is I uh, I I scratched my wrist, not a big deal, but it got infected, and swelled up, and it you know started to look like I was growing an eye on my wrist. It was this big anyway, which would be kind of cool because I could put my hand around the corner and see what's going on without having to expose myself. But it's not what it is. It's just this big lump that's infected, and I thought, well, this is something that needs to be lanced, and have everything taken out of it. Not the case, but I'll get to that. I don't have a uh, primary, you know, a family doctor here. Our family doctor is in Florida. Haven't seen him in about four years because we've been moving around the country. So I had to go to one of these these quickie clinics. And uh, nice place, very clean, spacious, relatively efficient. But <laughs> relatively is is the operative word there. For the five to eight minutes that you're going to spend with the doctor, and, and for most of us, that's about what you spend with them, less than 15, you're going to spend about 45 minutes to an hour and a quarter filling out paperwork. And I, I tried to explain to the lady I didn't want to buy the clinic. I just needed to see the doctor. Um, she didn't see it that way, and I still had to fill out the paperwork, which is you know, so much different than when I was a young fellow and I'd go to the doctor and you put down your name and address, or maybe your social security number, boom, you go and you see the doctor. Now there's like six pages of legalese indemnifying the clinic and the caregivers and the guy that scrubs the floors at night and stuff. I mean, I, I don't know. But finally got in to see the doctor. I'm expecting her to whip out the scalpel and pop this thing open, give me a lollipop, pat me on the head and send me on my way. Oh, no, 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 no. That ain't it. She pushes on it and squeezes on nothing. Okay, no, it's a subcutaneous inflammation, which is, there's, I know, all these cool words, interstitial fluid buildup, and it's not, it's not pus or anything, it can't be lanced, there's nothing to lance. So instead, here's a prescription for some pretty heavy-duty antibiotics, and I'm supposed to soak this thing in Epsom salts, I don't know, anyway... And in 10 days, I should be right as rain. So that's what's going on with the wrist. You will probably see that at some point in future episodes. And saves everybody from having to ask, oh my God, Paul, what happened to your wrist? Nothing. I scratched myself and got infected. Not the end of the world. I went and got medical care. Life is good. Anyway, however, uh, the 18th of September, which is tomorrow, we're recording this the night before, is uh, National Cheeseburger Day. Now, National Cheeseburger Day is not an official holiday. It's not a sanctioned holiday. It's not a decreed national day by the, you know, by the president makes these decrees. And no, nothing like that. It's something that was started in 2012. I don't know by whom. And um, I'm, I'm guessing it was either A, a very hardcore cheeseburger lover, or B, someone or some group who are purveyors of cheeseburgers. At any rate, they have their own Facebook page. I'll put that in the doobly-doo down below for those of you that are interested. And if you go there, one of the things that's going to strike you is the photos that they have, which are truly, truly disgusting. 
disgusting. And that's coming from me, folks. And you know I will eat just about anything if you, you know, you saw Bev and I with the Chitlins episode. And we like those, but these just, oh my God, they're these huge things that are with like the slabs of ground cow and cheese and bacon and onion rings. And they, there's no way you could physically eat this. You'll have to go there, take a look. It's just, it's disgusting. But uh, anyway, unfortunately, we are not, you would, you would normally expect to see is for Bev and I to go and order a cheeseburger and smile and talk nice and push this in my pie hole, but not going to happen this year, folks, because the antibiotic that I'm taking, I've had this before and it, um, how do I explain this politely? It, uh, it does unpleasant things to my digestive system. So I can't pack myself full of beef and cheese because I'll still have that beef and cheese, you know, in 10 days when I'm still taking it. It's just, it, it doesn't go anyplace. So I really can't do that this year. And that's why you're seeing this from the studio and not from a cheeseburger restaurant where I'm pushing the valve clogger special into my face. Not that I wouldn't like to. Everybody loves a good cheeseburger. Even though I know some of you are thinking, yeah, Paul, you missing a cheeseburger is, is probably a good thing. <laughs> and, it, and it probably is. But that's, that's what's going on. Um, like I say, I, I don't think that this, this has been around since 2012. I don't... Uh, I don't know if it's going to catch on. National Ice Cream Day, you know, in July is a big deal. Um, but National Cheeseburger Day, only in America. But, you know, we have a very long list. There is a very long list of national food days. Uh, I, I mean, eventually, the rate it's going, every day of the year is going to be a national something day, a national, I don't know, pumpkin pie day or whatever. Um, gluttony is a spectator sport in the United States. <laughs> If you wonder why there is a weight, overweight problem here in the United States, because we, we, we love to eat. Culturally, we love to eat. And mealtime here, I don't know, maybe this is changing. You know, it, it seems to be, if, if popular culture is to be believed, that people are not interacting at the dinner table and stuff. But certainly in my household, when I was growing up, in Bev's household when she was growing up, and in our collective household, Beverly and I, uh, mealtime is, is a social event. We, you know, we talk and we laugh and we catch up and, and, and whatever. So it's a very, so if there's more to it than the meal. And that probably is another contributing factor to why people, including myself, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know, overeat. Because it's this, it's like, you know, it's a, like a mini party every day at mealtime. So we're going we're gonna to glorify it by giving it a national day. Um, Check it out. Description below. Truly disgusting. And uh, not as disgusting as the cheeseburger between two Krispy Kreme donuts that Bev had here about three years ago. That was that was disgusting. But <laughs> she's telling me, no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was if you had to watch it. Watch the video again. So anyway, folks, that's it. Going to be working from the studio in between the regular episodes. Let me know what you think. Please let me know what you think. If you don't type it in the, the little box there, I don't know what you're thinking. So drop me a line, say hi, whatever. I love to hear from everybody. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't panic. Look around. Really, this is worth sticking with. We got lots more to show you, folks. So pick subscribe, come along for the adventure. And as always, thank you for watching.